Hey everybody, what's going on in the shop? That's uh, this episode. I'm working on the 410. It's a uh, four inch stroke LT1. I have the camshaft. I finally have all the parts. All right, I got the camshaft. Anyway, you already saw the last time I worked on this was uh, making sure the clearance was good. I haven't put rods, pistons in. And I always want to wait for the camshaft. Have that hooked up to the crank so that I, it can be in sync so that I know when I put one connecting rod in, turn it, make sure it doesn't bump into the camshaft so I can know one at a time if there's issues. Let me see. What I get from Dennis staff is many times I'll pay extra for a dyno sim. So this is for the 410. The head flows as if it were AFR-227 heads. They um, were ported to be um, as good as that, or maybe a little better. So it's a 40 over. That was the insistence of the customer. He wanted 40 over, not 30 over. That makes it a 410, four inch stroke, 40 over. Um, compression ratio is going to be uh, 11 point, 11 point. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, here's the, the flow for the simulation. Here is camshaft specs uh, with 1 7 ratio aqua, 630 lift. That's as high as we could get for a billet core camshaft, believe it or not. Now here we go with combustion chamber volume, compression ratio 11.6, that's going to be give or take like 0.1, so it might be 11.5, might be 11.7, they're flat top pistons, it's a 65cc chamber, and um, so this is usually pretty accurate, this will be the power and torque, so 550 torque. Until look at 504 until 6400 rpm. So it's a torquer. You would expect that with all the cubic inches. And for horsepower, the friction is starting to get it right at 6400 rpm. And this is modeled if it was an LT4 intake manifold. So it's a tad restrictive. Restrictive. If it was a dual plane, that might be about the same. If it was a single plane carburetor on the dyno, I think we're going to see more than this. I think we're going to see like 625, 630 horsepower or more. It's always the more the better. Dyno isn't for tuning. Dyno is for getting, uh, making sure everything's good. But it's always fun to make more power. A little bit of specs on the camshaft there. Sorry, it's a bad copy. Custom camshaft. So today, that's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is change out these thicker washers with these thin washers and I'll get more thread engagement on these outer outer studs But it's a lot better thread engagement. There's only like one thread not engaged. We'll do the other side. Okay, I washed it up. Not any cleaner than when it came. It was very, very clean. I washed it in the parts cleaner. You get a clean rag and 
the little uh, cosmetic surface rust, I 2000 gridded it here. It was only on the very end journals. Um, anyway. This is very smooth, it doesn't catch lint. I'll put this on every, every little ball on the entire camshaft. Even though it's hydraulic roller, Still nice and smooth. All kinds of parts that if you don't have a short block for the core, these parts here are nice to have if you're doing an engine, but if you don't have the core, they don't come with it. This is just from the cam plate, thrust plate. I'll go find some bolts. All right, the uh, Cloys Extreme 9-3651X3. It's the big motorcycle cam, uh, the big motorcycle chain, big thick motorcycle chain. This is better in my opinion than a double roller because the double roller has too thin, uh, just too many links and it's too thin. This is big and sturdy. I'm not using, uh, this motor is electric water pump, and so that's going to be a delete, so I'm not using this gear. And plugging the hole in a timing cover will eliminate one source of potential future oil leaks. Time to press that on. Oh, Magnum crank. They have the threads deep, deep inside. Wonder if they have it half inch. Magnums, sometimes they make them half inch. Nope. It started. Let's see if that's half inch. No. No, it's 7 sixteenths. It's deeper in there. Oh, yeah, deep down. So this is going to need a stud for a... Look how, look how deep the threads... Are, and that is done on purpose because it, it's a thicker and stronger area instead of having threads right here at the nose. So look, this far, 
That's when threads engage that far in. Okay, so I gotta do a hybrid presser. Okay. No Loctite right now on purpose. After I do camshaft degree, then it'll get Loctite. Um, oh, also I gotta, I gotta take the, uh, dang it. All right. I didn't plug the front, the ends. Don't forget, plug the oil galleys. I have them threaded. All right. These are, I guess, P454, big block Chevy. They have already have a hole drilled in them. So I use them for the lifter valley plugs, and but not for the cam. I don't use any thread sealant. Perfect dot to dot. All right. And be back in a little bit. I'm gonna do some ring filing. All right, so the cam's in there temporary. And the timing set's in there dot to dot, temporary. Now, I've already had these uh, put together. I uh, haven't checked rod bearing clearance yet, or did I? can't remember. Anyway, um, I need to ring, file rings. Now, this is going to be all natural for a formula, Pontiac formula. And so, I'm just going to, I'm going to file rings and finish the short block. All right, got the boards all cleaned and ready. There's rag fuzz, hard to... Hard to not have that ready for uh, ring filing. I decided these are one millimeter rings and a three millimeter oil ring, and I'm going to do 20 thou gap first ring and 22 thou gap second ring. That's the recommended is 18 and 20, so I'll give it a couple thou extra. All right, going from here. I this is 20 thou. It starts at a 19 and 20 and then 21 is tapered one. So it, it stops there. Kind of like these.
this diamond piston, I wanted to show you the nice quality. It's finished. It's already kind of rounded off on all of the edges. Uh, yes, it, and it's got a skirt coating. It's got the stabilization ribs. Very, very good quality. And see the gas port on the top ring. Nice, nice quality. This happens to just be a flat top. It's five cc's. Look at the nice, let me set this down, get a good zoom. Thank you.